Hello guys and uh, welcome back into another episode of the Train Fever. I believe you're about to jump into 1916. And I do remember uh, we did finalize uh, the loop around the map in one way, yeah. But I do actually want to finish the second one as well next to it. Oh, there we go, 1916. Before I put any train on there, and uh, yes, we'll do it today for sure on this episode. It's not a long portion, uh, is it? No, not really. But I do know it will be expensive unless we can keep the trucks together. The question is, can we put a tool in here? Probably not. This could be a problem as well, because it has to go from tunnel out and then it's... Well, let's find out. Uh, where is my finances? Oh, we get a loan already. Yes, uh, yeah, I remember now. I borrowed the money, but not maximum. So we can still explore whether we can finish it with the money we have right now. Uh, next to it, yeah, it won't be possible but this way. Oh, okay. This is the problem number one we have to do, but you know what, it shouldn't be as hard, it just means in this direction we won't exactly have the maximum speed for sure. With the minimal curve. I think we can only do 88. And then I'll try to combine those two tracks, so now it should be possible, there's no or anything like that, let's see what's gonna happen if you try to put it right next to it. Collisions. Okay, maybe I do it the wrong way. Maybe I should start at this portion first. Let's see. Oh, I still doesn't want to follow the track at all. Why not? This shouldn't be a problem, really. Normally, it doesn't matter if it's elevated or not, it will just, yeah, do it like this, but it still says collision. Okay, that's... That's really upsetting, but if we do again the best possible, let's say 105. Okay, and now we're just gonna connect those two loose ends. Why is it not going? <laughs> Construction is possible, why not? There you go. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have a collision somewhere. Well, I'm not convinced yet. It's not locked. Uh, it's not totally connected. Uh, it could be. It's not going over that. That should be fine. Where is it? Where is the problem? Again, I, I hate when it doesn't show the red area. It may be... What it says again? Bridge pillar. Okay, it will be over the river somehow. Okay, let's try to find solution for that. Oh, there's this road in here. I think that's, that's the issue. That is the real, real issue. Let's... Because this will be the most optimal way. The most optimal curve to maximize the speed as much as you can, but it's crossing this part. I'm pretty sure it will be this. Let's get rid of actually all of this. I don't trust any of this at all. Uh, the actually will have to be disconnected simply from the outside board. It's not producing anything anyway, so who cares? No, it's still a problem with the bridge. Uh, why it should be easy, but it can be hard. Let's start from this way again then. All I'm gonna do is cross the river, let's see this way. And now let the game calculate the best angles. And now this is a problem. Don't, don't tell me this was a problem before as well. 
With the power lines for uh, the later trains. Um, ah, it will cost more money anyway. I shouldn't invest into that yet. Slope's too high now. You bloody kidding me. No, oh, it simply won't be easy. Oh, I should be. Can we do 120? 120, okay. How fast is one? No, don't tell me. This can never be called. There we go. Now we can connect it somehow. But it's not connected. Uh, let's fix it better now. I wanted it a faster, faster bridge in there. Uh, can we upgrade it somehow? Huh? Not yet. Oh my god! Should I delete this? I made a cheap section in here as well. Well, let's not develop it too much. Uh, let's deal with the situation from here. So we're gonna have to do the same thing. Thomas probably not gonna let us to connect it. And this section was the hardest one, isn't it? Yeah, that's gonna be the, be the biggest headache. So I'm gonna keep it for later. Let's see. How can we do this part? Next to each other, yes. And then it's gonna be collision problem okay I just want to see just in case if I connect it all the way here as it should be is the tunnel coming with the problem yes it is well this should be yeah just extending like the bridge to pick a hole I don't see why this should be a problem actually it doesn't say any collision now does it no, he's just asking for money. My bad. Okay, so this is gonna be great. Uh, let's. We don't even have the money now. Let's definitely buy it out. Yeah, it should be always like this. Uh, I don't see when there is a problem with the tools. Simply make it wider. Case closed. Hopefully, this is connected as it should. It looks like. Uh, okay. Now for the hard part. It was the this was the really big problem before, but we had to skip this uh, city completely because of that. But you know what? That may actually help us. This can be uh, all the way. All of this can be still together. Still can be together next to each other. Now this tunnel I expect to be a problem. But what if I simply try to pull it to the station? Let's let's see what happens. We already we already made a new one, isn't it? Where is it? Where's the hole for the next one? This. Oh, I was just planning. Well, what if we connect it to this? What's gonna happen? There is collisions anyway. This section, why is this a problem at all? Uh, we can make it be taller, and that's gonna be a tunnel. Uh, this, why is this a problem? Just making a tunnel, yeah. Hmm. Same with this. Okay, I don't like it this way anyway. I'll we'll have to improvise. I'll have to imp improvise big. Uh, let's do cancel completely. I'm gonna try to keep the shape as, as much as we can together. So this is like yes, definitely on the way to here. And this is where I expect troubles. But uh, let's see, can we keep next to each other? No, it will not. This is where we have the problem already. I have to deviate. So. 
No, I'll just plan new, new road. Maybe this one. And to be honest, what will happen if I completely cancel this? I'm gonna try to collect it directly from this extension. Uh, there's collisions, several. Several collisions. Because he still wants to go next to the tunnel. Okay. I'll have to find again better solution. Let's try to fix this area around here. Won't be any better. What happen if uh Actually, I wanna try it oh that cost me money. Come on, this is the last section. I'm not lucky to do this. Okay, let's ignore that. In a slightly different way. This is why I did what I did last time, isn't it? Yeah. We'll find a way, no worries. With a bit more manual, but... Uh, all of this is not collision at all. Yet, so let's try to... No collisions, no collisions. Okay, let's try... Actually, to... Put those two together. No collisions. It's all about uh, money, which uh, I can leave it. Let's make at least this section the fastest one. Five million, <laughs> we can none, but uh, can we borrow that much? We can go probably to up to 11 in depth. I only lost me now 10 million, so it's again only 2.7. We need 5.89. Question of time, at least we know. We can simply just connect those two ends now. And that'll be it. Uh, we just need to wait for the money to come. So, let's do some checkups on our businesses. Uh, first of all, let's check the lines. What's doing what? Uh, yeah, the wood's now making us money. Not much, but something. Cars doing some money. Our golden mine, 2 million so far in this year. And as fresh here as well, it's not. December is gonna be actually soon over. We get two minuses. It's still, oh yeah, on the trolleys in the West Jordan city, but everything else is making money, yeah. Uh, and this is only 100,000, so it doesn't really matter. We can, on average, by the looks of it, oh, we just reduced by 1 million. Also been uh, maintenance taken off. So we, on average, probably do like 1.5 million to be, to be fair. At the present set settings, uh, in profit every year. This one is also maximally full. So, what year is it still? No, it's generally already 1917. We're gonna start a new year, but we're gonna start with probably a million profit on this one instantly. And the other stream also just give us you know, 800,000 roughly. So it's gonna be about 2 million in profit. Well, 185. Let's repeat all of this. And, uh, it's good to see. So this one is coming here, and the other one was just moments before that came to the other station. So they kind of, you know, it's equally spaced now. Uh, it was a good investment in the two we did, the separation there. So, uh, so they both enjoyed their own life for that part. Uh, there will be most. There was a lot of people waiting there for the choice. Uh, actually, there's more on there as well. Two and two, maybe it would be wise to add two more of those. They actually got new ones as well, isn't it? So let's enjoy the trains in uh, real time for the moment. Well, that's 40 kilometers an hour. 
or like 25 miles an hour. Or is it 20 exactly? No, it must be more, isn't it? 25 is 40, 40. Can we just spin up? It can go up to 60 on this one, I believe. How old is this guy anyway? For 39 years, it has to be replaced soon anyway. I do wonder, maybe I already have a new engine uh, on this auto, I didn't know this. I perhaps I forgot from the last episode. Well, I think there was something very powerful, 100 something kilometers an hour, but we didn't have that. Shark is suitable for that yet, but however, when we finish the loop, we definitely can benefit from the 150 kilometers an hour going around the whole island and uh, put more passenger uh, carriages in there. Because those people, they will not be just coming from one place to the one, and back. It can be anywhere around the map, essentially, on that island. Meaning we will need more carriages and uh, it will be always like a half a pool, but those people will be getting off on random places, so you need something powerful. Uh, to pull the more carriages uh, you will need. And we also faster ones, so yeah, definitely we can employ those. Uh, on this personal truck uh, between West Jordan and uh, Pittsburgh, there is probably no, no reason really to get anything uh, as, as fast as possible because the maintenance is massive. We don't need anything like that. So hopefully there will be something else suitable to replace those, or if not, we're gonna buy exactly the same ones again, just for another 40 years. Although I do realize it is very unlikely for us to keep those uh, same engines uh, essentially for the next 40 years in service, so there will be definitely something else coming. Now is the period, uh, the golden age for uh, really trains coming into effect, 1918 plus, uh, guaranteed that's when uh, things really escalated quickly, the other train coming in. So right now we have minus 119, but again, this train is going to come to 46, it's half a full, well, that's still, let's say, 700,000 in pocket, or the other one, I don't know how full is that one. Well, let's say that's also like 600 or 500,000, we should get another million. A uh, million will be close to that 5 million we need, and then perhaps we'll be able to go and finalize the loop in both directions finally. Which will then allow us to go and buy the new engine now. I do wonder because I'm going to like a million anyway. And we might have to maintain it as well. Gonna eat away the money. We should still raise our mouth. Back to normal speed. And let's see how many people are actually going to wait for this train in there since the other one is flat. This is going to be good enough. It's, it's definitely a golden mine. I'll, I'll guess there's at least 30 people, which is not bad. That's like 600,000. Mine does the maintenance, which is now more often since it's so old. And it's gonna, yeah, 50 seconds on average, and that's probably twice in the running. It's still 500k we can make, like each each trip is pr pure profit of uh, half a million. And they probably finalize this trip, uh, I'll guess, five to six times in a year. Huh, it can be, because otherwise we'll be making three minutes. Each, in a year. It's not the case, this one is actually 52 passengers. Now we can in at least 800,000. Well, maybe the business is booming now anyway, what do I know? We already replaced the, the automatic repla uh, replacement of the trolleys for the new ones one, I believe. And I may have even bought some of the new ones, or did I not at all? I don't see any of the new ones in there, but I'm just waiting for the replacement. So we are good on this one. Yeah, none of the new ones are there yet. Uh, let's just leave it the way it is, I guess. Uh, although, I should replace some of the old ones. No, two, three places actually, even uh, it's probably in Pittsburgh as well. This one is now losing money, it's, it's not much. That was not great. Uh, let's go here. Then, okay, let's actually replay that. Let's keep 100k on there. I need to go and check this, it needs to be fixed as well. Now, do we have any of those? We need to be on line 3. How do we do that? Uh, list of vehicles. Let's keep by line. Line 3. 
Let's pick up the most oldest one, 25 years. Another click here. There we go. It's full of people. But I don't want to buy new new ones. Uh, I'm just going to replace the old ones. Uh, I'm going to replace them now to increase. I'm going to exactly wait for the. Oh, this train is already yeah out of service now. It's working. Let's go down. Just click into the old ones. Oh, I think there's no way we're not going to lose that income. Well, it's now only four people not seven. So let's put it directly to the depot. We should do the same on the line four. So line four. 25 years, there we go. Two, two, two. Three people, let's just put you back to the depot. We're gonna instantly replace those with the new ones, so it will be faster and they will have uh, uh, This is only up to some, some passengers, I think the other one is for 12. Definitely look more modern, although look at this, it's actually very cute. Uh, it's all open, fresh air. Sure, it will pass the safety regulation these days, but uh, to be honest, if you know, 25 km is not that fast, and this must be really a joyride, and much better than fresh air, especially in the heat. Yeah, we have to wait for this one. So this is uh, something the new ones will have always problem with. They'll be hold back with those, although they can go faster. But uh, yeah, you get stuck by by something like this, making it slower. I'll have to drive behind him, uh, regardless. So those can do 25 km an hour, I can see that, that's the maximum speed, but how much was the other new ones? I think I was like up to 35. Makes me want to sell them all. Really, right now, I replace with the new ones, and possibly just lesser, or even replace all of them under the equal numbers. We feel the needs. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. Look at that crossing there. You know what? I think it's time. How was it made? Uh, delete the line. Not sell all the vehicles. Or replace, but this is automatic replacement. There's no button for automatic replacement. And right now, so let's sell it then. Let's sell it. Uh, we have money 115. Need probably more. 118 for one. I have to borrow some money now. Okay, uh, line three. Line four. So those go yeah, 35 kilometers an hour, and taken to actually 11, not 12 passengers, but it's still more. Look at them. It's definitely looking very. It must have been looking very, you know, modern, like in 1918. Totally futuristic. First passengers can enjoy this joyride, which is, is, must have been something unprecedented as well on the speed. Yeah, 35 kilometers an hour is awfully close to 40 at uh, the first train essentially speed. It's meant to be not within the city speed really. I was about to put some money back, but I guess we didn't, didn't actually make any money yet. There's no one there. At that stop. Nobody wants to go out. Oh, there's missing section of trucks. Okay, it's good to be doing this. This is maybe something that's preventing us to have the opti optimal results. How do we do that? Uh, it was uh, road plus. Let's put some wires on here. Oh wait, there, no, there, there's not. Yeah, there's not. Uh, Turn track, yes. There we go. Do we have any blind spots? 
like down somewhere else. There's a new street, I don't really care about that one. I already know, we can do this, why is it upgraded? Because it's in the middle one, I guess from the big one. I'm looking for places like this. Or else it will be better to have this as well. Troy's made aside, this is a more optimal route. But otherwise, yeah, we should be good to go, and there's tons of people waiting here. Definitely would like to have more of the big ones. Where's our modern ones? This one. This other one. Well, what is the age? For those to be operated. Doesn't say that. Okay, let's check it again. Those will last 30 years. Okay, so we got like 70 years left on the other ones before they get replaced with the better one. I've decided to add two more of the big ones for each. Mother's eyes in the fleet, and yeah, there's more people definitely waiting now. We want to make this easier, and there's definitely. I think this is all like profit wise, so we're gonna make money on that. Uh, so, why not? Let's invest into that. Let's take away uh, some of the loan. So, this should be definitely fine. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, this is not making any money at all. The question is. What will happen? Which lines are these ones? They don't make any, they don't make any money anyway. Now everything is in minus, but let's let's sell all of these and all of those as well. We're gonna modernize modernize the fleet. I mean, I'm gonna buy four each. We're gonna buy three each, and let's see how it goes. So let's speed this up. Let's speed this part out. I want to see them all gone. Okay, there'll be one more we can see it on top. Okay, that's good now. Right, so let's do brand new ones. Can buy only two so far. Oh, you know, that, that's good enough. Uh, line 5, go ahead. Line 6, go ahead. We're gonna give some time, some spacing for those two to be spread. Uh, then we're gonna buy more, hopefully again we don't have to borrow anything. It will simply be enough. There's no people anyway, anywhere uh, right now, but yeah, we'll still need to invest, I mean... I mean it's probably nice, will be good spacing to do it now. I'm gonna have to borrow another 300k. 400. Okay, so people know there's not just one going in one direction. So the waiting time is not too bad. And it's worth to start using this. Can have some money from the train as well. And anymore we're gonna buy one more and there will be three in each, uh, each direction. All modern, all fast. Do the trick. Uh, Pittsburgh will have to wait for now. Okay, I'm happy with this spacing. Let's do it again. Hopefully, it's not uh, a catastrophe, financial one. Because uh, pretty sure it must be much higher upkeep, and we've been losing money already before. Let's compare. 29k a year, the other one was 18, yes, yeah, so it can be worse, but you know what, even if it's like 100,000 minus, I don't really care. As long as th those people will be increasing and will make it still this a gold mine. Yeah, there should be some space in here. If people want to use it, then there'll be always something close by to pick them up. 
And they have the most modern one as well, so... No complaints. Uh, we still need to finish this lobby, isn't it? He was looking for that money on there. Uh, it was from here to the other one, yeah. Get a million, I believe that now it's possible. Let's borrow all that we can. Now we get only 5 million, 6 million, but I'll borrow as much as I can to make sure 6.80 more. No. This should be for sure enough, come on. Let's just drag this to the other end. We already know this should simply just connect. No hassle. For that 5 million, it looks like it's gonna be fine. I'll just aim it better. Is it connected? I'm not convinced. Nope. Why is the showing like it's off? I'm not fully convinced this is connected as it should. Well, if I do this and it's wrong and I waste 5 million, I'll get me so mad. Uh, let's do the fastest on there as well. It's 5.89 now. This is better connected. No, it's not. No, it's not. What the actual fuck? Okay, we're not gonna delete that 5 million section. We're gonna have to work out this part. Okay, it's no disaster. But, uh, yeah. Ain't optimal again, uh, so that's done. Meaning we should really, we should have two loops now. And you're gonna call it north and south loop. I'm gonna prepare the line. Lines, uh, let's do a new one. And uh, since Pittsburgh is our mother station, let's let's say it's always gonna start here. Uh, let's do North loop first, so we can click this one. What? Wait, wait, wait. At station. Please work. And we're gonna go here. And there. We have to skip a city on there, but it is what it is. We still got five cities in loop so far. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then it's gonna repeat to one. There we go. So it should be... Yeah, the left side is gonna be north loop. Go in this direction. That's prepared. That's fine. Uh, which one is it? Line number 12. And then we're gonna make... New line. Our station will start here, but this time we're gonna go south. Oh, come on. What's going on? Oh, we didn't add any stations. Uh, not spawn. That's two. It should be showing. Choosing the other track. Oh. Uh, Let me let me remove those. Maybe it'll be if I click on the truck. I forgot to do that to make sure. Or maybe the game's gonna realize. Oh, to use the other one. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, now it's showing. Yeah, it's going the other way. Cool. That's what I wanted to see. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. 
And that's the last one, he's only 9. And back to Pittsburgh. Ah, he's using the other truck now. Oh, fuck off. Oh. There is a way how to how to force it. Uh, the waypoints. Uh, okay. Okay. We have, yeah, it's trying to use the most fastest optimal track, and it seems to be the closest one on the normal. But we can force this. Oh, I do remember this part. So I'd say, see how we get the waypoints. Uh, if I add a waypoint here, then between Pittsburgh and this one. I add these waypoints. Move. Now he's struggling to understand. Interesting. Oh, let's. Okay, uh, we'll have to investigate which of those uh, have changed the size. So, okay, until now it was the way it should be, until the fifth one. Where is the fifth one? It's right here. Okay, and then it suddenly changed, like I don't want to use that one. Meaning we're gonna add waypoint. So let me, let me just confirm that. If I add this one now. Yeah, it's not using the one, the side we want. Waypoints. Uh, let's force it to go on this side. Uh, how is that even possible? If you need to be on this waypoint here, oh, that could be. By the way, we can force the direction. I think uh, if I can turn that again, so so far is this is good. What if I because yeah, now it's thinking it's going up and down, and this is still the fastest way. But what if I force by adding the light? We go. We want to go down in this way. So it has to be this way, and then just for the kick of it on this one. Uh, this one is already set though. Let's not mess with that. Don't break it if it's not broken, or don't mess with it if it's not broken. One way. Now we just want to go there. You bastard. Uh. Okay. Let's remove. Huh. Well, we'll have to work with this. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Uh, how's it work? So if I start here, and I do want to go there. Add a waypoint in here as well. Uh, we'll have to make it somehow. It's not showing the line at all. I'll try to continue because uh, the weapon's there. I'll definitely 
I shouldn't have any choice to do anything else. Let's see what happens if we finalize the full loop. I'm gonna see it on the side of the track we want or not. Oops. My bad. I knew there was something weird. <laughs> oh, we got still one extra. What did I do? 9, 10. Uh, what did I do? That is a city. That is a city. I must have added one extra by accident. Or it's counting the waypoint, oh never mind, so it should be fine, so let's if go here. How do we manage those lines? Line 13, no, line 12 is perfect. Let's call this. That's the north. And it should move one direction here. That's exactly what we want. Um, yeah, we got the other way around. It should be really, literally no, but it's one of to use this side. Uh, how we can force this? Specific chunk. Okay, let's get rid of this. And that for now. I'll figure this out, guys. Uh, let's repay some of the money. Because we're making money. Some waypoints. Oh. Can't be on the bridge. Okay. And that's already close to the station, but I guess it's necessary. Let's add one here to the station. But it was working on its own at least for a part. This doesn't seem to be any problem, but that this is kind of long one. Let's Let's add some waypoints here. Those are next to each other still. Well, let's add it there, and then where's the split? Oh, I'm a bit confused. Oh, there's already waypoint. Put this here, so definitely we put it here. I wanna make sure it's gonna go this way. Maybe this is a confusion there, I'm um, not sure. Let's put one more waypoint there. And this should be fine. And then there is also split. So let's make sure it's going this way. I think that's what's causing the troubles, the split. And it should be back. Okay. I mean, we should have this uh, set up the way we want. Meaning, if I go now to line 14, why oh, this is not renamed again? 12 is my north. Oh, goddammit. North, to enter. We don't have a depot as well on this side, I guess, uh, at all. That could be causing troubles too. Um, okay.
the best thing to do is to add them somewhere neutrally. So if you go in neutral, but this is the mother station, so it should be close to here. Let's suppose if this is neutral, so this is going up. The depot should be some. Uh, We can squeeze that. Can okay, find a better solution? And the frustration is this anyway. Okay, never mind. It should oh, be actually. Yeah. Oh, new train. Excellent. We're gonna have a look at the dust wall. It should start somewhere here then. Oh, that's gonna be. We don't have any money at all now. Come on. Oh, it should be easy. So I want to commute to you. Oh, this seems to be good enough for me. Uh, I do believe now we can simply attach. No, we can't. But uh, now maybe we can. There we go. So this will be for the north loop. But that's the only depot they have, and then if they need to go back to the depot, because that's also a problem, you can go only one direction, what if you need to go repair? Huh. Fucked it up, uh, fucked it up big time, um, can't be here. That must be very hard to come back. This seems to be like a good location to do that. Okay, so we're gonna do something like this. Yep. Oh, come on. Give me the light. Let's do it from the other side then. Oh. Not possible with building two steps. Well, as it does build in the end. Okay, and now we need to do the same thing for the other loop. Technically the train will not have any choice anyway, but to go this way. So I shouldn't worry about that waypoints and stuff. Uh, how can we make this more understanding? Like that. Build in two steps. Cool, okay. But that's only one place on the whole map so far. I guess we have to leave it out. Uh, if the train needs any repairs, it will simply have to finish the whole loop. Uh, get itself into here and then it can go on its merry way. See now, look at how many people are here. Why to leave it massively? Oh, because there's a train in there. But they actually been loaded. Almost all, of, uh, almost full train. Excellent. Now, since we finished uh, that little problem, and now when we look at the lines and look at the north loop, do we have any empty lines? What is this? Like that's the south loop. Okay. Depots. Why is mentioned all of these depots when we. No, that's just in average, all of them. Okay, never mind. My bad, but yeah, all of this is good. Now we can go into the line 14, which for some reason still shows as a. on the wrong side. Where is my first waypoint? We're gonna add those waypoints there. This one. Uh, 
And then this is a fort. Five, six, where is the next one? Next one is here. So that's after six. Please be on this side, six. This next one here. I hope this is gonna fix it. Uh, either way, it should no matter because really they, those two trucks are not connected. The train will not have any any choice but to go that way. So after Gilbert, we have another waypoints. But I do hope the game's gonna realize this is what has to happen. So now after twelve, and I should visualize it. We want to use this one. And this will be 13. Oh, it's not a waste of time. But it still doesn't flip, it's pissing me off. That's 15, makes sense. And then 16. Oh, well, actually, this one. Still didn't flip. Let's try to help it by adding additional waypoints. Is this 16? Why this is uh, 17? Why this is 16? Eh? God damn it. If that's 17, it makes no sense. Suck the Richter's wheel, let's do this. I hope I didn't do any silly mistakes like that before. Somewhere else. And it still doesn't show the way we expect it. One. Waypoint. Waypoint. Maybe the track is somewhere broken and I didn't realize what is this like. For instance, oh, it should be fine. That's why he doesn't want to do. Well, I guess we find out. Either way, yeah, the train will not have any means how to get on the other side of the truck, so we'll have to use this one forever. And that's it. So I'm not going to worry too much about it, but it doesn't show on there. But at least it doesn't show on this um, truck neither. So we have all that ready. Let's uh, replay as much as we can. And then let's have a look at the trains we need to replace. Our vehicles. So one of the trains is, yeah, it's old, which is this one. The original bullet train. On the way to West Jordan, I believe. Let's speed that car out. Normal speed, that's 60 km an hour. And uh, so far for the public, for the passengers, this is as far as they can cover travel between destinations. And how soon that's gonna change. And there's a lot of people waiting here, it's definitely popular. We call it a uh, travel destination, really, between those two cities. A line, as well, I wanted to say. So we're gonna have to send you to depot as soon as you cash in. Cool, let's, let's send you off, so nobody else. There's still 50 some people there waiting. You can keep those carriages for now, I think there's nothing newer anyway. The year is 1920. And the Golden Age. And let me quickly see. Do we make any money on the tram lines now on here? No, we don't. But it's actually it's even less uh, in minus like before. It was like 50 and 60. Now it's 20 and 42. 
the spy this is more expensive so yeah we're doing well and as you see some of the other ones oh no that's the, we bought two inches and these new ones and those still are in service because they are not too old uh let's not draw too much on it uh actually i'm gonna stop this because the other train so the other train already coming no no because yeah, that's already they, they miss space perfectly now this one is only barely leaving so i don't waste too much time in the depot but I do need to, so let's have all first thing, let's sell this, oh, okay, that's gone so this was this one, the Baldwin 280 which was 60 km an hour, 50 tons heavy 284 kilo kilowatts of power and 70 kN of traction running cost 252,030 years uh, of service, now this is definitely made for freight now this is the latest one completely which is 97 kilometers an hour but this is definitely passenger ones it's running cost is less because it doesn't have as much structure effort and power is actually even a bit more it's more power but it's more heavier 97 1920 hmm that makes me but it's still cheaper though but to be honest we need the fastest possible and it's only 100 kilometers let's Oh no, this is not this this is uh a different track. This is just between two cities. We don't need the fastest possible. With 97 kilometers it sounds good. It's quite a step up from 60. But yeah, the running cost will be three times as much. But it still should make money. Let's let's buy this one for here. And we also have options for new passenger cars, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna replace all the old ones. So the old ones were 80 kilometers an hour designed for, yeah, so we definitely need something better. Uh, running cost 35 and lifespan 30 years, loading twice as much. They look exactly the same, actually, this one is more maintenance because it's heavier, because it can take more passengers, only by two, but still, but it can reach up to 110 kilometers. So this is gonna be fitting. Okay, we're gonna have a new bullet train. Uh, we're gonna take still four carriages. Those people are lucky one, they will be the one testing it out. Uh, it's line two, isn't it? Yeah. Let me tell you. I need to re rename those some. Um, Jordan. Where's Jordan actually? Bear with me. Okay, that should be renamed now, right? And this one we know is the South Loop. Cool. Right, so we, we got the sound loop. Oh, misspelled this one as well. How, the, how I managed to do that. Sound loop, no loop, and the journal. Okay, that's for the passengers, so we know what's good sound. Uh, this one's already there. Okay. Click. Waiting for free part. What do you mean, waiting for free part? You are in this right. Let's uh, unblock and see what happens. I expect the train to come in up. Yeah, there you go. Uh, new machine, freshly, uh, this year, 1920. You can definitely tell that looks a lot more serious, faster. And it is, 90 kilometers an hour. Again, nothing to laugh about. Beautiful, and all these people can enter the new carriages. New engine. We can take now 72 on this one, let's see if we can fill this. There's quite a lot of people there waiting, some probably left. In the meantime, since this train actually went to maintenance, but yeah, there we go, 70 out of 72. 71, maybe this person can still catch up. Oh, this 
going to be left out. But 70 out of 72 is not too bad. And that's only possible due to new carriages as well. There's a larger one, so we still have 4, but we can take more. I think it before was 64, and let's see how fast we can get this baby up. Now this one has the most power of them all, but not the best traction. And the top speed is also lower than the other one, which is neutralized. And certainly you should have no problem at all to pull four carriages, especially not even going up the hill like that, so we are doing 46 now. On the way back, we, I believe we need to go left. How do we do this one? Oh, we split it. How do we? Because we forced by the light, the direction. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Do I need to really see the light? Oh, you know what? Which one? Because it's rather soft one. I think it's gonna sort itself out as soon as there will be cruise train. It can't go really, literally anywhere else anyway. So we're only at 84 now. So I'm still speeding out, he's doing up the hill now. And the top speed will be 90. I do wonder if he's gonna meet the other train, probably not. He's probably already in the small as well himself. Uh, I do, do want to watch this uh, maiden trip in all time. Safe, yeah, next year, 1931. Now we're getting into decent speed really. Uh, gone are the days when 40 was the maximum. Oh wait, this is 97 actually now. Maximum speed is 97 on this one, okay. Right, but yeah, so it's definitely more than twice as fast as the first engine we had. Uh, or the first engine in, in existence, I should say, as well. But we're talking about something with 70, 70, 70 years later. So, no wonder, because in another 70 years, in 1990s, we'll be able to do, let's say, 300 kilometers, so it's three times faster than what it is now. Beautiful engine. I don't wonder why we lose the people. I mean, every time we get maintenance, that's when we lose some. We lost two people so far. It's not terrible. I predict two more will be lost before we actually reach the station. And then I do wonder how much we're actually gonna earn. It's probably still the same money. Although the service has been improved in terms of how fast it is and how to go from everything. And those people are really lucky to be traveling in this bullet train. The latest marvel of technology. Really a beauty as well, add that. Occasional cars, spell, speed. Let's see how much, uh, plus, plus 200,000 so far. Uh, running cost for one way. The question is how much we can earn back. And there's quite a lot of people waiting here too. But it won't be 69. It certainly doesn't look like that. Let's see how much. A million and fourteen. Going back to green, let's see how many people are gonna be boarding this one. It won't be 69, I, d I don't think so, but you know, it's in 50s now, 56, that's pretty decent. Still like 700,000, and we only lose like 200,000 going one way, so. Golden mine, what can I say? Another golden goose to our fleet. Mm. 
recon. I do wonder if we're gonna meet the other former bullet train on our way back, as you wanna see. And uh, either that one is old as well or not. Let's Well, we don't see it on the horizon, and uh, we can totally see the tunnel, so unlikely we're gonna see the other one. Who knows? It's too bright. Looking at it in uh, red colors, not in the back. We got at least years to go on So we'll in the next 10 years. Anything on out out there? Uh, actually, we're gonna buy a new one. <laughs> it should be 113 for the loops. We're gonna put those in service. The moment, yeah, we're gonna see. It. So, 97 times 4 is almost 4. We'll see how fast that's gonna be. Even this speed can be actually real time. Uh, futuristic. I'm not sure we got actually have uh, any long stretch or any straight stretch uh, long enough to uh, achieve those kind of speed. But even this would be like in real time. I want the other one. I do want to see how many people actually will be there now. Since the other one actually just barely left. How many people? Now, because we're speeding up uh, the time, how fast we're gonna be there, obviously, and before we lost people waiting for us in here. That's gonna be a factor, let's see by how much. There's barely anybody in there, to be honest. The next year we'll be losing money. It's guaranteed, so maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe four carriages are not really necessary now. At all. There won't be ever enough people to fill them all. This is why we watch it for a moment. Because once we start doing the loops, we're gonna watch those other ones. Just bear with me a moment. So this is only 13 people. Now let's speed the momentum up. We're gonna have to wait and go into the other side. And uh, Yeah, on the way back, we're definitely gonna re reduce the car juice in this one. Uh, it is faster. And we'll probably never have up to 72. And still we have to wait for free pass. I don't understand why even you can't block this way. Uh, what was that? How did that happen? Why would you have to stop at any point? This is the track which is built specifically for this direction. What did I do? Did I mess up something again? Impressive of 400k. Yeah, there was no reason to do that. The train is even here. Why would you stop ever? Maybe breakdown. Oh, uh, show me. No, oh, I don't know. I don't understand. There's no people here either now. Yeah. Well, yeah, four cars is definitely redundant, uh, we don't need them. We'll be stuck to two. Uh, since this is really that much faster, it's one half a 50% half a more than before, isn't it? So we're going to be catching up the other, other train uh, a lot more. Before it was equalized, equal speed and tables in the opposite direction. Now look at where is the other train. We're gonna catch it up, maybe even gonna be faster there. Oh, let's watch this. <laughs> but we can't, it's, uh, it's forced direction, now we have to wait on the same direction yet yeah, for that train to leave. The whole two more. Okay, this is a disaster. Uh, the other one's gonna be holding this one all the time. Yeah, I didn't realize that. We can't leave this one to try to go around it since we force the directions. Hmm. Food for thought. Meantime, let's try to get rid of all the debt we have since we're actually making some money. Regardless of this one not being exactly now 
in uh, green. Let's click on this one as well. No, I mean, this one was full, really full. Imagine this one is really making good money. What ways? There's tons of people waiting for him as well in there. Just the latest new one, the bullet chain. Wow, to wait again. Yeah, this one is full and there's still some people left. So, it's not lost. Obviously the other train should be on our way here. Which is where? Exactly, it's already almost here. Okay. Let's put this up now in case we're gonna need it. Oh, stop, 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 stop. No more time, because we're gonna need to unload this and then send it straight to the depot. I think two carriages will be fine. Just fine. And this one. There. That'll be 36 people, possible, maybe maybe three, maybe I shouldn't really. So the last one, uh, but I don't know how many is right now in there. 38, oh, okay. I'll skip three then. Uh, let's just sell one of them. Let's get back to, to business. This should be still enough because uh, yeah, this this one is very fast. I mean, it kind of makes sense. We actually don't need as many carriages because it will be much faster in here. So the people, unless he is bigger than demand, we're never going to need them more than before. Since it's faster service, it will be always less. It's, it's faster service now. It should be less, of course, as long as there is a uh, the same demand. And we can see people still kind of coming in heaps. I'm sure the next train is going to provide for their needs. Let's speed this up now. And this is probably the last time we need to watch it. Uh, I just want to see how many people will be there now into the other station. You shouldn't be needing to wait for the free part. How? Why is this necessary? Let's stop this now. I need to analyze. The other train is. Oh, going the same direction. On the same track. It still didn't leave this long. That's why he's catching up on him. Oh, now nice, it makes sense. Uh, well, hmm, that's interesting. That is interesting. We did help ourselves before somehow, but now since there is difference in speed, it's still forcing us to to wait some some time. Not too much, but be honest, still again we can't utilize it, uh, even take advantage of 90 and it's costing us a lot more. It makes me wonder if I should really upgrade this one straight away because we're going to be losing money there. And uh, let me tell you, that's exactly what we all need to do that. We will. We will. And this one is already uh, almost it's five more years, but you know, it's been there 25 years, it's time. Complement of carriages, but we're probably gonna keep it at three after. Yeah, those, those train will be now much faster in those places, and, and uh, we should yeah see the body in close tow now. He's gonna pick the rest of the people who wasn't able to load. Now you are gonna have to wait. Mm -hmm. it's not that terrible because that's really a bullet. But I'm sure that train is gonna catch this one again. In the long part of the tunnel, simply will. So already we can probably see now it's going to be coming back and catching up this one. So yeah, we're going to try to can have one slower one, one faster one. So we have to be equally good. Otherwise, this section is going to be again uh, as bad as before. You see it right there. 
I was gonna have to stop. It makes sense, I mean this one does only 60 km an hour. The other one is very very powerful, acceleration is massive. Better than this one, and it's doing 90. So of course uh, the catching up is gonna be happening uh, often, since in theory it can do three trips in the same time as this one can do only two. But we're gonna eliminate that uh, problem right now. Still one more million to go, but maybe even this is gonna pay for that. Sixty. Loads of people waiting. But we still only take three carriages, I'm gonna do the same thing and the next train is gonna take anybody else who won't be able to board. So I'm sure there will be somebody left over. Uh, but they'll be promptly picked up with the other one, so the other train will not need to be empty. There we go, one million as well. But should keep the money because we're gonna need it for the next train regardless. And I do wonder if that's gonna be now blocked with a new one, because the new one's gonna come now. We're gonna have to do some space in between them and then we're gonna release this one. I guess that's a smart thing to do. So we're gonna have to sell the whole thing and buy the new flashy one. Uh, three beautiful new carriages as well. Well, this one can probably still get ahead, so let's do not. I'm just gonna have to wait. It's definitely going to be full. Uh, let's guarantee it's more than 54 by the looks of it. Oh, maybe not even. 53. Uh, close, but uh, yeah. Actually, all of them. It's impossible to put into that there and now the other train. It's definitely on way here. Already, it's going to be soon there. There'll be nobody waiting, so we're just going to put that in into. There we go, it's already there. I'm gonna follow this one anyway. This one's gonna have to wait for that one, this team. Bye. We can also wait this one now. Follow this one, so we're gonna send it to depot and, and wait until that one is on the other side of. Uh, until he's invisible essentially. And then we're gonna release this one from here. So they shouldn't be stealing each other's uh, passengers at all. At any point. And three cars will be more than good enough. Okay, let's start. So let's speed this up. Let's follow this bad boy. Work. Was the year now nineteen twenty three? I'm sure there is already a new engine in development soon and uh, something else to our disposal. But I do wanna make use of every single engine anyway, so don't you worry, we'll test them out all. I think that's good enough now, so this one can go back on the line. There we go, just mentioned that. That looks like a new trolley to me. Just barely went to this ones. It looks like something better is already in the... Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's a... 
engine uh, which is also capable of taking passengers. We'll find out soon. I'll check it out for you guys. So let's see how many. This is all loaded. That's loaded. Both of them. Let's see how many they will get. So 21 is in West Jordan right now. This one will be full. There's still more people coming in. Oh. Yeah, definitely. A lot more. Don't tell me there's already like 50 people there. 28. We may need to increase the garage at some point, just because of that, because th this is now extremely popular. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, where is our depots? Uh, this one. Ah, it is! It is passenger train, I guess. What the hell? And then this one is going 100 km an hour. We just bought those two. In 97. Okay, well, we want to use all of them, so this one will be, let's say, the North Loop. Which may be more difficult, I'm not sure which one, I'm not even sure which one is more, like, uh, going up the hill. Which side, but let's say it's the North one. So the, we'll use more power on this one, more speed, and the South will be, like, supposedly easier, so we're gonna use this one. And we'll have additional possibility to put the passengers in the engine itself, so that's what we're gonna do. And let's do exactly that, uh, so let's buy for the South. Actually, let's start with North. I need tons of money now. And this is gonna really lose us money. I'm sure of that. Hopefully it's not gonna drag us to minus completely. So even our golden mine will not be able to compensate, but uh... It will make me happy. So this one can get 113. Uh, this passenger car can go only 110 anyway, so there will be still 3 kilometers less because of the carriages themselves. And I do believe uh, at the start we'll be good enough with 2. We will choose nothing else, let's, let's do just 2. And uh, This has to go north anyway. Let's put you... No. Oh! Oh! Now we're in trouble. We need to upgrade all of this. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure how much headache this is gonna be. And money wise. Seems to be easy enough. Because it's a new type of uh, engine. This one is using electricity. So we need cables, power cables, all across the trucks. Well, it's not that expensive, end of the day. It looks connected to me. Okay. Let's take it out. Let's go back to here. Can you, my friend, go on the normal loop? Yes, you can. Oh, let's actually replay this now. I'm gonna worry about the solo loop later. We're gonna watch this one now. Do full round. I'm gonna watch it. We already sent the other one on his way. Now we should watch at least one of so we know there's no, no issues and it's always taken on this side as well. And then we can send the other one and do the same thing for him. This is the fastest so far we can we can have anyway. 113, but those carriages shouldn't allow it to go more than 110. Just take out. Still, uh, so far the speed record we have was 97, and we're now doing 98, 99, there we go. It's quite easy to break as well, it's going downhill. So maybe the north loop is actually going to be the easiest one. <laughs> and, uh, we should switch the engines, but uh, we'll know for the next time. And again, let's upgrade that. Uh, 
Now, since this is in effect now, these are uh, local. Uh, the question is: Is anybody going to be standing for those people on this side already as well? Trying to utilize it, but it's unlikely again. Like the people didn't even know moments ago. This is actually, I think, and it's possible now to travel to the other cities. Or the other cities now can realize: Oh, we can go to work to Pittsburgh. Now everything is connected, kind of. If they want it. Yeah, look, there's no one waiting. No, they will have to be waiting on this side. So is it all going to Pittsburgh to West Jordan? Did, did we actually do the 110 kilometers yet or not? We're gonna find another. That's already 62. Still kind of has a some sort of diesel engine or something. Coal building or whatever it is. Oh no, that's diesel. Not yet. Electric diesel. That's probably how it works. Look at this bad boy. Going 90. The tunnel. So although it is here real time now, you can already tell like this train is not slow. I'm not sure how long is this tunnel, so maybe I should look forward. 107. It's going up the hill now. 108. Again, the limit should be 110. Those carriages cannot take any more than that. One nine. The sound level is going to be doing this massive climb. Oh, well, I'm perfect anyway. One ten. No, I don't imagine it can go any faster. Although it can do one thirteen in theory. Half a million in minus. This, this is definitely the cheap to operate this one, so I guess this is dragging it down completely. Let's look like how much we should have every year in minus on this one. 850,000. We ain't gonna make much profit on this one at all. Uh, from any people coming in, so it will be, let, let's say this is really 850,000 minus uh, guaranteed every year. Because we get one more train like that, uh, it will be slightly. Um, Better maintenance because it's like a double bottom design for people, so it's not as powerful as everything, but the speed is still decent. Oh, we still have it, have it right now. Or something like that. So, that the other one will be actually cheaper, and definitely that's what it's built for uh, to transport people. Uh, this one wasn't, so it's very expensive, uh, it's got too much power for what we need, but it's still the fastest one, and uh, we need speed if nothing else really on those loops. At least the power is going to guarantee even once we go into like uphill. Well, not really. That will not be a factor for this train at all. Not on two carriages. Or otherwise, it's just going to affect you know acceleration a little bit. But two carriages, probably nothing stopping right now. The difference is a legit wall. But there's somebody waiting here already. I've seen somebody. Where are you, buddy? I was just walking moments ago. Well, there's two people coming in, there's somebody else, but yeah, too late for you, mate. You have to wait until this is gonna come back. How long is this, uh, look, what does it say? Now, remember when Pittsburgh to West Jordan was 22 minutes? Now it's 4. And North Loop is 25 minutes. This is, uh, nearly the same. It's gonna take nearly the same time like before, from Pittsburgh to West Jordan, in all honesty. Back in the day. Ain't too bad, all considered. This is going all the way around the map. And yeah, we barely left the station, we are doing 100, 100 km an hour, which is faster than our blood trains. We should call them four more blood trains. Let's speed this up now. Sections where we are not really visible, and perhaps we can. I feel like this point now. 
sends you the first maiden right in all time. No rush. I do wonder how much, uh, if those two people, because again, those two people, they don't have to be going to the next station. It can be somewhere else. And if they're going to get off uh, of this station, how much they're going to actually give us money. Let's say they're going to Pittsburgh. I wonder how much just two people are going to pay from going like, essentially the whole way loop around. It must be quite expensive. Ain't going to pay for NMK minus maintenance alone. See, so there's two people on board. I don't see anybody on this station waiting. No, they did came out, and that was 20k plus. Well, we are in 830,000 minus then, so far. Uh, no one boarded on this station at all. I'm sure the Pittsburgh will be quite popular destination, so we're gonna pick up somebody else. Guaranteed, uh, who's gonna want to go there. Although I mentioned like the map itself looks small uh, when you in the bird eye, but looking at it like this, or uh, always in the median, it looks quite large, isn't it? Like it puts things into perspective, but still from experience I know for making that runs where we can do like let's say 400 kilometers an hour, the change will need uh, very long stretches like uh, 30 miles, I don't know, 20 miles, 30 miles stretch. Order to achieve that kind of speed. Oh, new engine. To say it's gonna be golden age, it's all auto safe. Well, new cars, we can definitely go and look uh, how we can utilize those. And it's probably a new bus and new transport car. Very, very truck. So we already do it 109. There should be also 110, there we go. 110 now. We don't go any faster, but that's already fast enough. Fun fact, most trains, uh, even this day, these days, uh, they don't go more than this. They usually, in small towns, they will be around 80 km an hour, maybe 90. So 110 ain't slow even current standards uh, in all honesty. And that's probably what you will find most trains uh, cruising at, about 80 to 90 to 100. Uh, so 110 depends on how long is the stretch. It also depends on what state you live in, but you know, in the US, I think the normal speed is uh, 80 90 for most states, and then the fastest most they have for public is on 160 kilometers an hour. I'm attacking like the top end line, so yeah, we're doing quite well in 1925. Speed up the car with the tunnels. Next one coming up, so we're gonna actually just allow it to pass. This. So this will be technically 440 kilometers an hour, which will be still possible in real time <laughs> with the futuristic trains we're gonna have later. Oh, 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 oh. No more speed. Is anyone waiting here? It doesn't look like it. No, no one. And yeah, perhaps the distance to get to the station will need we only need a sort of dance ball. Uh, one trolley, we got some new ones in it now, I will as well. Just make station there and then across the city and make sure this will be a destination to be reachable uh, without walking. It is far away really. It's also going to be a challenge now. Before we do that, we'll start to go and test the south route too. And then put the other train into operation. So we don't skip any of the engines. And uh, the times we now are actually mining still. And not making money really as well. I'm worried about when we add the shorter ones. It will be actually even worse. So perhaps we'll have to work on the economy first. We'll find out. So let's finish the hold and see if we're actually going to be able to get into green or not. 
to be honest, we can follow some of the if we need it, but over time, we, every, this is always going to be in minus, and the other ones are also always going to be in minus. Hopefully, that's not the case. If we can at least break even now, for the year, you know, in the final statement, then, uh, yeah, I'll just buy this out to run as well, regardless. And then with the borrowed money, we can do uh, the trolleys. I'm sure I'll be buying all of them in all those cities without uh, before we run out of money, because I'm sure we will. And that should also put us in green. Uh, at the start, we'll just speed up obviously the process of losing money, because there will be no people really coming on those, and those are also having some running costs, etc. with the initial investments. But uh, over time, that will build up uh, this as a, as a gold mine. You know, until so yeah, this is also kind of far away, and yeah, it's no interest. In this line, mainly because of that either. There's no one here really waiting. They will have to wait on 25 minutes, it's simply not an option. Uh, but there will be other stations which are much closer. I think that, that was the case with the other one, which there was actually two people in there, because it was kind of close to the city. Uh, for them to wait and go here. Soon, but we're gonna wait until it's gonna actually enter the tunnel and see how quickly it can build up the speed as well. Yep. Well, we're doing 18 now, let's pick it up there. Well, it's so far no problems, and we are 8,000 now in plus. So perhaps we're still making some money and. No problem really to go straight to the south one. We'll see. It's 500,000 now, yeah, obviously. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. A lot really depends, oh, I forgot to slow it down. A lot depends really on the golden mine currently, and uh, we'll have to go and check as well how well those three garages are doing now. If they are full or not. Uh, maybe we actually need more now since the trains are equally equal in speed and uh, they've been opposite. Uh, stations at the time we waited for that. This is even further away, like literally makes no sense for anybody to come in here. So there's no one here now. Let's speed this part up then as well. One we'll minute, we'll have to skip this as well. And another two more. Well, run this section as well on the faster one. So we got, we got things to do. This one is the big tunnel, one of the bigger ones, maybe the biggest one, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even sure where exactly we are, but I'm sure I can realize when we're going to be in this world. So let's see if the next station was close enough to the city to actually someone be interested to traveling. But then if those people are going to leave, obviously on the way back, they only have this option. Uh, North Loops will have to go from this route all the way around, so some people will actually be for sure in this way as well. It will force them. I think I've seen a person walking to the station right now. There's another one. And there's certainly a few people waiting here. So here we go, we get into the phase, but now... Uh, but again, those people won't take and come back. It depends where they're going, but still, they'll have to only use this North Loop at the moment. I have to use this train. <laughs> so it will, it will get more busy over time, but as soon as we introduce the south run, obviously, if they go in from the next station, when they come back here, that's what we want to do. Have the south loop as well, so they don't have to do this all the way around. It'll be more popular with the people as well. So this time we get 14 people, there you go. Uh, one third, full train. There's more people going in there, they're going to have to wait 25 minutes until this is going back. But, uh, we're going to introduce this old loop before that, I'm sure. Yeah, the map always seems to be, from the bird eye, it's quite small map, but uh, as you can see, it's actually quite long, even at the fastest speed we 
It'll take a while. Just take a ride. All around. This is not too bad away from the city, but there's no one here. The question is, is are those people, all those people traveling here or not? And how many of them? All but four. Yeah, those people definitely are gonna be benefiting from the salt lot because this is the next station essentially. Or was it the one after? I'm not even sure now. Uh, however, some people going even further away. Uh, this is close to Pittsburgh now, isn't it? Maybe one station more and then it's Pittsburgh, I think I reckon. Wait, I'm confused. This, I would expect this to be on the south route, not the north. Oh, I, don't, I have no idea where we are. I no idea where we are. And the next station seems to be very closer to the city. Maybe there should be more people. I can see some people now. Certainly on there. But you see, so maybe this bad boy won't be actually that bad. I won't be making minus 800,000 neither. We get 1 million in plus. So we're definitely making money as well. I'll consider we've been in plus in the last two years, regardless, the sound load's gonna be possible for sure. And we get half a full train. How cool is this? Well, I think the next station now is the... Oh, there we go, that's the depot, yeah. So the next one is Pittsburgh. And we made two rounds around. Uh, there's bullet trains in this distance. So we're gonna have two trains at the same time at uh, st one station. It's gonna happen for the first time. Uh, they can be jealous of each other. Both really beautiful machines. Right, and th there we go. There's somebody waiting here on this side as well. First time in Pittsburgh, two people. So we can get it them together. Oh, it's already turned around. So the 176 on there. Everybody out, three people in. Finances. Only minus 266,000. That's not really bad. It's not bad at all. And it's gonna definitely get better. And that's it. That's for the note loop. Now we have to go and test the south. We got money actually. Let's buy the other one for that one. So we're gonna buy this one specifically built for passengers with also three of them. What is the speed on this one? Exactly 100 kilometers an hour. Good enough. Uh, so let's do it for the south loop. And it is coming out. Let's check this bad boy. Look at the futuristic look. Two of them. How did we manage to do that? Look at the depot. I have to follow this one. So you can see the kilometers in the hour as well. Wow. I'm so happy we made this big project and uh, it will be working the way it should. Regardless of the line, not showing really. The south loop on this side, but it will be. It's really not a choice in all honesty. The challenge we're gonna have in the future is how do we gonna put two trains in the same loops? Probably well, we'll figure it out. And that's really in the future. Right now, there's no point really doing that anyway. Why did I put three carriages in there instead of two? And back to the depot. We don't need this money. We definitely have two carriages in the other one as well, isn't it? Confused. Not too worried. We are not too far away. Let me confirm that. Two carriages here on the north loop. Just like, well, how can we? Why are we taking 72 of them? We don't we need 72. 54 is more than reasonable. Let's do south again. We are watching it and let's do faster speed. Up. The plane doesn't have as good acceleration. And we get more because, uh, yeah, the other one is 36, but this one is also 80 people. And at the front, you can load this uh, train. It must be normal speed now. 
Hamilton is going on the straight. I want to see how fast he can accelerate. He's going uphill now. He's still kind of slow. He's doing only 36 at the moment. I'll expect him to still accelerate, but he doesn't. 36 still. 37 now. There you go. He won't be nowhere as fast, I imagine, as the other one on the nose loop. But in theory, he can do faster speed than the bullet chains we had before between uh, Pittsburgh and uh, West Jordan. Yeah, it's definitely not impressive this one. 45 now, 46. Well, okay. And now we're going downhill and speeding up. Finally. But we already are going to be on the next station. The question is, is anybody waiting on the south loop at all? There seems to be. Not one, well, there's one person waiting for the north. Well, not all of you know. All of you guys, you can literally, yeah, between two stations. If they close together, you don't have to do the whole route anymore. You can simply just take the other loop. Coming back. No one there. And let's test it now. This, this is definitely. Acceleration test. How fast is this train gonna speed up now? It's, I don't think it's going uphill. It's hard to tell, but even if it is, it's pure straight. And it certainly doesn't look to have as much power, no, not even as much as the uh, coal board, steam engines. Yeah, no idea. You can reach. Higher speed, well, we don't know if we actually get there. Seems to be too slow, so we'll have to do this. But at four times, it still doesn't really look like doing much. So, this is definitely not my favorite, but then again, the maintenance is not that high. You know, we don't, this one doesn't really gonna have the many people either in it. And if it's gonna last for longer, and at uh, the end of the day, it can reach quite decent speed, so now we're doing 65. But uh, it is going up the hill, we'll, we'll, we'll find out, I guess, we'll find out. But it's struggling for sure, this one doesn't have the power or traction. So even though we're going in turns, we actually still accelerate, because those turns are still doing from higher speed than we're doing right now, so it's not even slowing us, it's not even a problem. This train's not doing us any. Uh, Headaches, or oh sorry, the streets doesn't do any favors. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually that fast. No one there neither. Well, we'll have to drive with it to the whole full run. See if everything's in order as it should. And I think we all did free. Yeah, that's, that's it. All the money we're making now, what we have there, and we still make money. So that's on the full side. This one. Only cost 250k on the year, yeah, it's a massive difference. The other one is 850,000, so of course we trade off something for something. The poor of paper on atomic kilowatts is not that bad considering. Uh, but this one is 114 tons in weight. So let's compare that very quickly to one of our other bullet trains. So those seem to be much faster, although they, they're older. Uh, let's have a look. Well, those also goes 850,000 running speed, so it's almost as much as the electric one, which is in 113. But as I say, 97 kilometers, this one is 100. It weighs 5,000 much, this one is very easy, well, right. but yeah, it has 3,000 power though. This one has 200, so maybe that's not a fair comparison. Kind of explains uh, what is going on, really. I uh, wanted to show what, what are the old ones, which have, haven't been as you know, heavy neither. They still be kind of heavy, and uh, the kilowatts are really, this is quite a lot of 200 kilowatts. So it really does beg a question. So anyway, I can open any depot. I can have a look straight away. So any depot in here. How do we do that? There you go. Here we go, depot now. Train depot. Vehicle 4. That should be the place on its own. We're gonna check if that's uh, set up. I see 90 km an hour on there. No one here neither. 
Uh, so the first one, for instance, let's compare them. This is gonna be fun. How are we doing this? So this is again 114 tons compared to the first one was. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yeah, there's a problem. That's why it wasn't showing. Click. Stop. Turn around. That's why it wasn't showing. This is the problem. Look at that. Oh, this is why we're doing the test run. This is why it didn't show before all these vapors in Wayne. Because of this. Meetings. Uh, I think that's the reason. Uh, let's look. Oh, that was on four times as well. I could have done it better. I, I imagine now it can go the way it should. We can follow it. To the next station then. This is why I do the testing rounds. So, back to 114 tons compared to. Oh, that's only 20, so it's 5 tons of heavy. But this one has only 70 kilowatts. This one is too. Well, I don't know, 5 tons of heavy, this is only 2 tons of much power. Yeah, we will not have as good traction either. This is why it's like a production of 25 kilonewtons. Oh, this one doesn't even say, but we can we'll go in this and see. Only 30. But it's 5 tons of heavy. Yeah, it's probably not the best ratio once you look at the other ones. Track shield is again twice as much and it's only half a weight or two the weight. It's 45, how about this former bullet train? Uh, 50 tons, half a weight. Track tile is much much higher. 70, twice as much, yeah. 24, was it half a weight? 24 tons? No, this is heavier now, 50. 200 kilowatts. Compared to 284. I don't know, it should be as good as this one. Now this one is the one which is 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, 70 kilometers of structure, this one is uh, half. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of like this one, uh, but slightly worse. But it can reach higher speed. Uh, the running cost is about the same, there we go. 252. To, uh, this one says 157. How come this one says so here is 256? Should be the same one. Oh, because it's already with the garages, okay, that's why, but otherwise, uh, it's, it's good exchange. Plus, we got this potential of some people in the front uh, wagon essentially. The engine itself can take 80 people. We put on lines, yeah, and we can see now on the left side as well, it's already there now. Oh, okay, so at least I can move the future if it doesn't show that something will be wrong. Of course, we do this wrong. Yeah, the speed we're gonna see here won't be that impressive really. Uh, it will take a while for the tra train to really get some acceleration and speed up, but technically, you know, it's not that long ago we've been doing 60 km an hour. This one definitely can beat it uh, in many portions of the track. But many other ones, like this one now, we can go uphill. Uh, yeah. It will definitely not be impressive. And in comparison to the other loop, so the other train, this one, North Loop, can be done in 26 minutes. Now, let me guess, South Loop 32. You know what? It's not actually that bad in comparison. I thought it would be much worse than uh, only 6 minutes. Six minutes. Uh, we've got plenty of those things uh, old. Not even not. Put a replacement, automatic replacement on those lines. Let's do it. We did not. Okay, that's why. Put in no speed then. So those are making us money anyway, all of them. Oh, okay, let's. One of them is actually a replacement, the other one doesn't have. Uh, let's start with this one anyway. So this one is for the goods. How about we cancel that one and set new vehicle? Because we get new one now, I Yeah, there we go. We get more, some kind of different one, Ford as well. Oh, no, this is the old one. But, and now we get Ford, 40 kilometers. We need goods. Okay. I'm not replacing it now. Now, those. This one is iron ore. Set vehicle, it will be Ford with uh, uh, iron ore. Okay. And yes. And then this one will be also Ford. This okay, though. 40 kilometers an hour, that's like. Almost like the first train was it uh, 40 or 45 on the check the engines again. Let's get into that point. First one cars can do this, and that's actually 
uh, the heavy loading cars, so the personal cars will probably go faster. We'll see them on the road soon. We should take care of that problem. Anything else? Those are all the set, but it's probably the old one. Yeah, so let's come to them as well. Set, port, good, good. Okay, and yes. Want it. Now all those are replaced now for the new ones. That's been done. The question is, uh, this is the old model, isn't it? I think there's a better model. What's that? <coughs> Apologies, let's have a look. Oh, this is still the latest one. Never mind. I got confused with this uh, one that we have right now. That, it wa that was a trolley, but it wasn't. Let's make it faster. I do wonder if you're gonna see. Come on, why is it still stuck to my mouse? Can't get rid of this screen now. What the hell? Well, that's upsetting because now I'm supposed to function like this. Let's watch this. Double click, triple click. How do we get it's stuck? <laughs> actually, it's stuck. But it's doing 96 km now, now 97. We can actually reach maximum speed 98. Come on, I want to see a maximum at least on one portion of the map 99. There's a station. There's some people in here though. Okay, okay. I'm getting a bit. Oh, I was getting excited. There's two people there. Two people. Oh, because this is a close amount of Pittsburgh. We're all, almost gonna get. Uh, yeah, I think the next one is already Pittsburgh. So we must have missed in the tunnel somewhere the North Loop train. We didn't see it. Looking forward for that. But those people are coming out back. And this is really annoying, but. Much I can do about it. We're just gonna finish this loop uh, and we're gonna end the episode there. We finished quite a lot, and uh, everything else is gonna be happening in the next episode. We are in 1929, so almost 10 years. That's what we did so far. Who knows? Maybe we're gonna be after me. Oh no, we're gonna have to necessarily meet the notes train at some point. But I was kind of maybe it's gonna be in Pittsburgh or something like that we're gonna meet but it's probably past us already in tunnel somewhere. You ain't gonna meet it unless you're gonna open well, at some point maybe an open, but it's unlikely now in Pittsburgh, let's put it this way. They definitely did the loop before us. So there will be no sense if that's gonna be waiting for us in Pittsburgh. Definitely not. Maybe at some point we're gonna see all three trains, you know, at the same time in Pittsburgh, you never know. It may happen at some point. All of them will be uh, the one between Jordan and Pittsburgh was North and South Loop. Well, this is not Pittsburgh yet, but there's some people in here. I guess yeah, there's some people in there. I'm gonna even slow it down anymore. Uh, nobody unloaded. Everybody loaded. So now we get nine people in there. So I do wonder since this uh, maintenance is not that high on this train. Oh, we already lost two people somehow. Guys, on train. Oh, this is nice going downhill. Uh, I think the next one is Pittsburgh, but maybe there's one more. Let's see if we can do another one as well. Oh, new train, there you go. Beautiful. 97, 98. We did 99 before, but not 100. Oh no, it's slowing down. It's going down now. It doesn't have the power to accelerate up here at all. Two carriages, too much. You know, it didn't fall that long. 87 is still a decent speed. So it's not a horrible train. Uh, but the other one is definitely. Actually, no. Considering the maintenance means. I mean, this may be. We have to make money. This, this train can make money. Let's ease it up. Oh, I was about to say that's no way this North Loop is there. This is the West Jordan train. In here, not from the North Loop. Although, it's more makes sense why it's going this direction. But don't believe it's anyway electric, I don't know what I was thinking. Look how many people now waiting there. On the second round. So it's much more. Finally we're gonna make some money. Uh, let's see how much. It's only from six people because mysteriously three died along the way somehow. But all these people going to the Nord Loop now, yeah, it's much faster if they just go next city as possible. 
we're gonna use this one on the 13 other you know. So I'm sure we're gonna start making money now. This is more likely to make money than the normal, despite of the fact it's not really that fast. And since this is really annoying, and uh, the only way I can do that is to reload the game, I anyway, I guess. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And I'll see you in the next one. Very good luck. Signing out.